Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm back in Ultraman Rifle and Pistol Club. Thanks to Don and Mark to allow me back here again. Sorry about the hiatus, I've been busy with life uh, stuff as people uh, normally are. Um, long and short of it, I'm back and I'm looking at two CO2 pistols today, which is a change when looking at PCP rifles. And both of these I've had for a while and they've been both out for a while. And I thought I'll do something different, a little mini shootout at uh, 10 meters. Um, so over here I've got the Unirex X Extreme, and over here I've got the Wolf the Nighthawk. Both are in 177, and both are CO2. So let's just take a closer look at the X Extreme. So the X Extreme is modelled on a Breton 92. This has got some considerable weight. I mean. It's pretty much all metal, the actual pistol itself, apart from the grip, which is a polymer. And we've got a really nice um, ABS or hard plastic uh, rail, uh, cradle okay. rail, which basically holds the red dot, which comes as standard, which is great. It also comes with a faux silencer. There's some Picatinny rails on the top and the sides and the bottom so you can put some toys like a torch or a laser to load this which takes these drum magazines holding eight shots of 177 push down over here and I'll show you the loading system in a minute safety's over here and the CO2 to load this you press this over here and out pops the back or the side grip on the right hand side to load the CO2, which we'll do that in a moment, just to show you what that's like. Over to the Nighthawk. Again, this has got some weight to it, not as much as the X Extreme, but still feels uh, very, very weighty, uh, mainly because of the cradle and also the red dot, the faux silencer. The safety on this one is over this side, which is a uh, press button and push so at the moment it's in it's in fire mode but it's unloaded as I go over here again same same mechanism because they're both not blowback so they're unloaded um, but ultimately to put it into safe mode you press that button down and push forward now it's in safe and push that button and push back this was a bit finicky when I tried it before there you go and now it's in fire so I'll just put it back into safe mode. There we go. Now, this is the bit that had me earlier when I did a, a, a take, uh, the magazine went flying out. So to, to release the magazine, you push down on this part of the trigger guard and out pops this, which houses the CO2. And to, to, house, the, to house the CO2, which we're gonna actually do now, we basically, Position this little cradle over here. Take the CO2 canister. We've got some pell oil just to put dab on, protect the seals. And in it goes. And then tighten this up over here like this. Don't know if you can see this, all right. Yeah. And once that is nice and tight turn this round and you can just hear it pierce the co2 and then that's ready to go so we'll just pop that to one side and we'll take the power oil over here and we'll launch the nighthawk now the North nighthawk is uh, sorry the uh, x extreme is slightly different it's still got this uh, adjuster over here but this is the uh, this um, lever over here pierces the CO2. So again, drop of power over there like that. And then over here, we'll just drop this in there. Push this up like this until it's nice and firm. Almost there, if you can feel it going. There we go. And that is ready to pierce. And then there we go. 
and then on with the grip. And that is ready to go. So both in the safe mode, both have got these little drum mags ready. So I'm going to do a little mini shootout off, I know we're going to get a lot of skeptics in this, off the bench, off this bag. And I'm doing this because I want to test the accuracy of both the barrels to eliminate fire error. So we'll start off, I think, with the X Extreme. Okay. So we'll just launch target down range. Now, as I mentioned, this hasn't got blowback, but to launch, uh, to load the pistol, you simply push this down like that and insert one of the drum magazines like this in there and then close the front just by holding the silencer like that and then put the gun into fire. There we go. So we'll do, uh, we'll do two eight shot groups at each one at a target. I'll just put the red dot on as well. See what's going on, and away we go. There's the first one. Let's have a look at that. Not too bad. We'll just send another target down range. Okay. And then to put, put it back into safe mode. And then we'll unload it by clicking that. The drum magazine literally wants to come out. It can either come out on the left or the right. And I'll insert another one and then close it again, put it back into fire mode, and away we go. Let's have a look at what we can do this time. And there we have another group, which isn't too bad actually, considering. And I'll be honest with you, the trigger on this, it's, it's pretty heavy because it's circulating the drum magazine and as soon as the let off happens, you can feel the CO2, especially a fresh quantity of CO2 kick in. So there is a slight jolt upwards, but still not too bad considering. So that's the CP, uh, sorry, the CP99, the X Extreme over here. We'll just pop that down over here. And just by the way, we're looking at some of the groups from earlier. So this was me zeroing, and then I just put these to one side, and then I slowly started to get tighter groups over here, like this, and over here, like this. So I think the groups are really nice from this particular pistol. And then let's do the night hawk now. Again, same process. We'll just check that it's in safe. Click this down. Load in the drum magazine over here. Both take the same drum magazine, by the way. And once that's in, load it in and then put it into fire mode. This is the bit that's slightly difficult on this particular pistol, is this safety catch. I'm not fond of this at all, because it's, it's, it's not, it's not uh, easy to just simply put into um, fire mode. There, there we go. And let's just get a target and put it down range. There 
we go. First shot of eight. Good lad. So silent it just doesn't work, obviously. Good Slightly high. Okay, we'll launch another target down there and then unload. Actually, we'll just put it safe. And then this, these magazine drums I found slightly more difficult to get out actually. That you know, they want to pop out of the XX stream, but with the Nighthawk, you have to slip them out with your push them out with your finger. And then over here, and then we'll just push this back and put it into, there we go, ready to go. Okay, let's see what we can do this time. And each, each, each of the triggers, I'm not going to lie, they, they are pretty heavy, um, but once you get used to them, this one's slightly lighter. So let's see how these compare to some of the earlier groups from before when I was zeroing this. So we started off with that and then I was moving up slightly, making adjustments and slowly getting into the black, slowly getting tighter groups over here and here and then these are what I've just got now. So, I mean, overall, my opinion of these two, uh, as I mentioned, I've had these two pistols for a while now, and I do enjoy shooting them. I mean, they are fun to shoot. They are ideal plinkers, if you want to take them into the back garden and have a tin can eye, they are fantastic for that. And just to show you the accuracy, which is why I was shooting off the bag today, you're getting some really nice groups, considering. Um, and I, I think obviously because there isn't any blowback here, you don't get any authenticity uh, with the, both pistols. Uh, but at the same time, there's a trade-off with the lack of blowback with more accuracy. I mean, I've got uh, a number of different blowback pistols and I find that when I shoot those, they feel great to shoot. But in terms of accuracy, they're there is a slight payoff, you're not going to get something like it's super accurate because obviously you've got either the trigger pull activating or having a, a, a reaction with the blowback and uh, obviously compensating with the blowback to, to make sure that you're, you're shooting as accurately as you can. But in terms of these two, I like the fact that they are easy to load and also at the same time they do look over the top. And if you've seen some of my other videos, you'll know that I do like my tactical rifles and the way that they look and feel. And these Umarex pistols definitely are in that camp. So that brings us to the end of today's video. So thank you very much for watching. If you've liked what you've seen, please like and subscribe to the channel. Again, apologies for being in a bit of a hiatus. As I mentioned, uh, life gets in the way in terms of making these videos and I'm given the opportunity in terms of time and money. I would love to concentrate on this more and I will do uh, my best to make some more videos as soon as I can. But until then, stay safe, all the best and I will see you very soon. Thank you very much.